Hey class, today we're going to be covering nutrition. Um, I know we haven't covered this a lot, so this is going to be new for all you guys. So we're going to learn a couple different things today. The first thing is the pyramid that you guys all learned back in middle school. And this was to tell you your food you should be eating, how much you should be eating, when you should be eating it, etc. So, as some of you might know, this has been replaced by MyPlate. MyPlate is the new food pyramid, which shows you which types of food and how much to, how much of each food you should eat. Um, MyPlate is new, obviously, it took the place of the pyramid. And what is it? So it replaced the food pyramid, and it only looks different, but it has the same amount of food that you guys should be eating and when you should be eating them. And the big question that we're going to cover today is why is healthy diet important? Well, um, benefits of eating healthy are manage your weight, reduce the risk of overweight, um, prevent becoming obese, and if you eat a healthy, if you set a healthy eating pattern now, that's going to develop more in your future and help you not develop any of these diseases or not ever become overweight. So healthy eating is very important to start while you're younger. Um, why they designed MyPlate and went away from the food pyramid? Well, MyPlate is designed to help Americans eat healthy. It shows still the five different food groups on the common surface plate, which is the plate. You all eat off a plate every day, so it's very common to look at, and it's easier to tell how much food you should eat. So if you have a half plate full of cookies, obviously that's not good. So my plate is very easy to tell how much you should be eating um, of each food. The key points to my plate is they want to try to try to avoid overeating, control portion sizes, eating variety of food, and increasing fruits and vegetables. So obviously they don't have sugar and sodium on their plate, but that's a big thing. They don't have it on there for a reason. So they want you to try to think about all these points when you're eating and putting things on your plate. Um, another thing that my plate has that the food pyramid did it is they want to emphasize exercise. Exer eating healthy is great, but exercise help gets a little bit last in there. So they want people to exercise at least 30 minutes each day. This can help them eat healthy and then still see the results of eating healthy. So not only do you have to eat healthy, but you also need to exercise in order to see the improvements from your healthy eating. Um, and then they say they say 30 minutes each day, but they really want to see 60 minutes. So if you do 30 minutes now, and then maybe in a couple months you go up, that's perfect. We want to see at least 30 minutes, though. So. Um, today we're going to be doing an activity. And what we are going to do, we're going to record what we ate yesterday as well as everything we ate so far today. Um, you're going to compare it to my plate. So basically you're going to ask yourself these questions. You're going to have a worksheet to fill out. You're going to ask what areas you can prove. Um, did you do well compared to what my plate thinks you should be eating? And what did you consume too much of? That's a big thing. They don't have cookies and stuff on there. But if you ate something that's not on there, they want you to write it down. Um, this is what your worksheet is going to look like. So you're going to estimate the total of each type of food you ate. You're going to list the type of each food, and this will give you a good, um, a good idea of what food goes in what group. And then you're going to answer the question about did you do good, you did okay, or not so great. We're going to take the rest of class, and we're going to do this sheet. And I'm also going to leave this up on the board, which is the goals. So on my plate, they have these goals in mind, and this is how much you should be eating of each category. So what I want you to do is make notes of what you ate, when you ate it, that kind of thing, and then compare it to my plate and compare it to how much you ate. So I know you guys don't know what a cup is or anything, so just think about how much it would be. About an ounce is like the size of your hand, a cup, y'all know kind of what a cup looks like. So just estimate it, and then we're going to go from there. So thank you.